This is the guru. <laughs> it's a good night, everybody. It's the guru. Hey, I'm Bill Oley from SeattleBasketballServices.com. We're here tonight to talk about the Garfield Rainer Beach game, the post game. I was right. Yes, I was right. Like I said, uh, sorry, Bulldogs. It was a great game. You know, I mean, it started out in the in action. It was a Kevin Porter show to start the game. He made his first 10 points. You know, the place was buzzing. It was packed. People outside kept texting my phone, get me in, get me in, guru, get me in. But I couldn't do it. Not tonight, baby. It was a great, great game. All right. So Kevin Porter started the game off just right. All right, so the doctor ordered two dunks, two monster dunks, got the crowd going. All right, then Garfield kind of came back, started scoring the ball real well. Jay Sean Augusto played really well the first half. And T. Brown in the in action. Garfield had to lead at halftime by five. By five. After that, it was just a slow work after that. Stars of the game, I would say Sam Cunliffe. I mean, Sam Cunliffe had two good halves. He had 13, 14 points in the first half, 11 in the second half. Had a monster dunk. You know, had some great shots in traffic. Just real athletic. A real athletic player. But the real, the real shot in the arm was Tyjon Rod. He came off the bench, had 11, 12 points, hit some threes in crunch time. Really helped Coach Mathia break the ice with that tough Garfield defense. Because you know, Garfield came storming back at the end of the game after the Beach built the lead. Jay Sean and Gus hit some big threes. T. Brown had some good IQ passes. And then John John. That John John, oh boy, I see why he's top 50 ESPN. John John had like 22 points, 10 rebounds. He really knows how to snake his way in there. I call him the snake. Just a snake in there, just a score over the trees, gets, gets his hands on all the balls. Makes all the little plays during the game. I was right about the dunk meter too. Rainer Beach won that. Rainer Beach won the dunk meter. Yeah, Garfield didn't shoot the ball very well. And that's why if you go back and look at my video, I was talking about Rainer Beach playing his own, making Garfield shoot from the outside. You know, if, there's, if they have one Achilles heels, that they don't shoot the ball very good from the outside at times. Um, Jalen Noel, their star player, was in foul trouble. Um, couldn't get in rhythm during the game today. You know, a couple calls didn't go his way, and you know that really hurt Garfield. You, you don't have your top scorer out there, you know, hitting jumpers, you know, making the game a little easier uh, for everybody else. They missed 13 free throws. 13 free throws. Uh, you know, what I really liked about the game was Coach Mike Mathias' adjustments out of the timeouts. You know, they went in there, they were playing man to man, and then Garfield called a timeout, and they came back out, and Mike was in his zone. And I can tell it through the kids off. Michael Thea made some great adjustments. He changed the momentum of the game. And Khalil Shabazz really handled the pressure. He did a good job bringing that ball up against Augusto. And I, I think that Raider Beach took a big step forward tonight. You know, had, had a real good team, team win. And I just, I, I think that Raider Beach and Garfield for the state championship, it's coming. It's coming. It's going to be something special. It's going to be something special. Well, like I said, there's a lot of drilling going in the gym. You know, it's loud. You know, you, you had a couple of near fights up in the stands. You know, I mean, it was an exciting game. I mean, you know, you had, you had Coach Lorenzo Romar from UW been there along with assistant Will Conroy. You know, you had Coach Tony Stubblefield from Oregon. I mean, it was star stutter. You see Nate Robinson up in, this, up in the stands dancing, screaming at his players. You know, I mean, it just, it just, it's just fun. You see Ed Roy in there. You know, I mean, old Garfield legend and Gab Smiley walking around, all, all these Garfield legends cheering their teams, and you just get your adrenaline going, you know. I mean, you just want to jump out there in the court. I mean, a couple of times you see Ed Haskins is just going crazy over there because he, he realized he couldn't get on the court and play. You know, I mean, just, hey, Ed, you can't play. You got you to gotta watch the kids play, you know. But I think it was a great game. It was great for the community. You know, everybody was, was happy to see each other. You know, every, everybody came together. And I, I think it just shows that our community, our basketball community is strong. You know, we have fun. It's exciting. You know, and, and the future is just so bright. I mean, it was such a good night. You know, the vibe in there was so positive. I mean, you know, the Jamal Crawford Court, the Mecca of 206. Hey, man, it's special. It was special, Jamal. They, had, they did a great job for you, Jamal Crawford crossover. Great job. This is the guru. Follow me at Bill Ellaby on Twitter. Tonight, I'm going to put the stars of the game on there, go through the state. My phone's blowing up over there for the, all the stars of the state and all their stats. 
and how who played well and, and my Duncan meters is blowing up. I can't wait. There's no sleep. The guru don't sleep. It's all about Washington basketball. Make sure you guys subscribe to Proof in the Play. The cameraman, he's out here working. He's at every game, around every high school. He makes videos for kids. I'm the guru. It's a great night. Not because I was right. That's part of it, but it's because we had a great night of basketball. We've seen a competitive game. That's all we can ask for.